Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So you may notice that I'm not exactly where I left off last time. Um, I already left the hotel last episode. We took care of Venus's Russian problem in a somewhat bloody way. I mean, we didn't kill the boss, but we killed pretty much everyone else. And after that I decided to have a quick trip uh, through that giant suite again to make sure I didn't miss anything since I didn't really look around all that um, closely when I fought my way through there. But I didn't really find anything, so I just came back down. Um, I drank some blood from the receptionist and now I'm outside. And yeah, I guess we need to return to Venus and tell her that her debts are off, one way or the other. And the church is right over here, so let's start with that. Alright, Venus, I have some good what? news for you. There you are. Finished yet? Um, yes, but maybe we should talk in your office. What? <laughs> Let's talk in your office, please. Yeah, I can't hear you! <laughs> Let's talk in my office! Yes, um, that would be good. Uh, not interested. <laughs> Her hearing is very selective. Sometimes she can understand me perfectly, and sometimes she can't. Anyway, let's talk. Boris? The dead is off, and now we are partners. Still alive, I haven't got to it yet, I'll be back later. I mean, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter whether he's still alive, because um, her problem is solved uh, either way. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? That sounds good. So, I have like a steady source of income now? That's pretty neat. You'll see me again and often, don't worry. Goodbye, Venus. You know, I actually had some suggestions for the club. <laughs> Do I? I'm curious to hear them myself. Really, I'd love to hear them, but I've got to go find a new DJ. Our old one's still spinning that pixie wave magic 80s redux electronic but... I so last Friday. Heaps of thanks again. Yeah, we can't have that, obviously. Um, my pleasure. Well, I guess... Um... I don't see out there she's not that interested in our advice so it's maybe for the better Ori doesn't strike me as like type of person who knows how to have like a good party let's just jump down here I think that's the fastest way to do this um, okay so I guess Tragedy. I will come back later and uh, see if she has some money for me I mean, what happens if I just leave and then enter again? Will that be enough or do I have to do some quests first or wait a certain amount of time? I don't know, let's find out. Alright, now we're going back in. Okay, she's down here again. So let's see if she has some money for us already. Money, right? Come back in a few nights. I'll have another word for you. Okay, so I have to wait some time. I don't see enough <laughs> sitting out there. I mean, as far as I can tell, this game doesn't have like a day-night cycle. So I can't really see if a few days have passed. So I guess I just have to do a few quests and then maybe at certain points I can come back here and uh, get some money. I mean it would be a rather inconvenient if the game had a day-night cycle because then half of the time at least we wouldn't be able to do anything because we can't you know, move around while it's day. Anyway, um, I guess this is done for now, yes. Um, so, I suppose we will go back to our main mission here. You contacted Nines after you are finished talking to him. Report back to the prince before you go on investigating the Elizabeth Dane. Let's do it. So, um, we need to find the Venture Tower again, which was next to the library, which is the building 
with the gargoyles. Right, it's this one. Also, can we talk to like the merchant again? Do you have some new merchandise? Baby girl! Let's see. Um, hmm, not really. But maybe I want to buy the eggs after all. I did receive more money. I apparently have like a sort of steady source of income now with Venus's club. So I feel I can afford it. <laughs> if only because it's an ex. And it might be kind of funny to see her run around like an ex murderer. Let's buy it. Um, I guess I'll keep my guns for now. I may never actually use them. <laughs> I don't know, maybe at some point there's um, some situation where I really, really need a melee uh, a ranged weapon, so maybe I shouldn't be selling, uh, shouldn't be selling them now. All right, um, let's have a look at my new weapon. <laughs> I mean, damage potential is higher. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll I'll try the X. <laughs> look at her. Um, maybe I shouldn't shouldn't wear it in front of the police person. My only uh, concern is that maybe using the X is like very slow and, you know, the knife is fast. <laughs> I I can already see that I probably end up going back to the knife at some point, but I, I want to give um, other weapons a fair a chance as well. Also, um, I did uh, get a bunch of experience points, so I feel I should be using some of them. As a matter of fact, I think I should finally push my research up to 5, so I can use some of my books, right? So either I go for scholarship, which would also increase my persuasion. But persuasion already is pretty high. How high do I have to push it? Or I go for intelligence, which, which would be a lot cheaper. So let's uh, take some intelligence. <laughs> so Ori won't be quite as stupid anymore. <laughs> um, I'm going to save the remaining points because, you know, I'm going on a main mission and who knows what kind of skills I'm going to need, like block picking or more hacking maybe, so it might be a good idea to save some points that I can use depending on the situation. But yeah, now let's see if I can use my books. Oh, well, this actually needs six. Okay, but here we go. No means no. A Woman's Guide to Self-Defense on the College Campus. This book raises your brawl talent. That is useful. Ah, and this is a Kendo one. Kendo for advanced students. You have gained the insight, willpower and form from your first two years of Kendo. You are now ready for the secrets of the Kendo Masters. Here is one of the ancient rule every warrior must remember. Only one can land the killing strike. <laughs> Makes sense. Hit the kill zone or hit nothing. If you cannot control your attack, you are dead. This book raises your melee skill. Okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, I like me some more melee. And I always kind of wanted to learn kendo, but I never really got around to it. The only martial arts that I um, did was jujitsu, and that's a long time ago. Um... Okay, that's all the skill books, and I still can't do anything with that one. But yeah, my unarmed and my melee are actually pretty damn good now, so... I feel I should be able to uh, take on whatever enemy waits for me in my next mission. Alright, so... Let's uh, go up to the prince again, and... Uh, let's uh, check out that ghost ship. Let's talk to Chunk yeah, first. Yeah, you go right on up and see Mr. LaCroix. Ah, let's see what we got on good old camera three. 
<laughs> oh, well, hello there. <laughs> what the hell? About you. Oh, yeah. I want to lick you all over. <laughs> and then make my way down to your creamy center and... What the... Get your hands off my Bavarian <laughs> cream! <laughs> Is this just, like, common practice around here to use your uh, security cameras to spy on? Well, apparently he doesn't spy on people, but... On food, huh? Can I have a look at this? I mean, I can apparently interact with it. Okay. Don't see anything of interest, though. So, not sure what you're seeing there. But okay. Um, let's take the elevator. And let's go all the way up to the penthouse. All right, Prince. Give the Anarch community my regards. I did. I just came back from the Anarch community. I did. Here's what Nine said. I did. Nine said some nonsense about the Anarchs. I didn't listen very carefully. I would like to think that I did. <laughs> I did. They said nothing important. I did. It put things in perspective. Uh, I don't know. Let's just uh, relay what he told us. Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. Huh? You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the Unrulia ones. Mm. You can't fault all for the boorishness <laughs> of a few. Now that that's sure out I of the way, that, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. The Anak that I uh, spoke to seemed to be pretty convinced, and I don't think they were just bullied into this. Um, okay, I have some questions first. Yeah, let's see if I can ask something about this. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. All right, um, I had some questions about people. I had some questions about something else. Okay, let's see. Yes. <laughs> he sounds so annoyed. Um, yeah, sure, tell me about yourself. I'm sure that's a topic you uh, like to talk about. It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. I see. <laughs> but what do you mean it's common knowledge? I didn't know that. I mean, I figured that you were French based on your name, but I didn't know the rest. But I guess he assumes that everyone knows about it. What clan are you? Uh, my guess would be Ventru. I'm Ventru. Mm -hmm. But I don't disparage any of the other clans. <laughs> All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my council. Right, right. I'm sure, I'm sure you value all the other clans equally. <laughs> um, but okay, I have more questions, apparently. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about Jack. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. <laughs> Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his <laughs> latest lark. I don't know, I like Jack. Certainly uh, one of the more sympathetic people I've met so far. Yes. Um, Beckett. Oh, right, the, the uh, other gangrel we met during our last mission. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. Mm. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his mm. intellectual pursuits. Again, that sounds like a very interesting character. Um, I would certainly uh, don't mind... Uh, Meeting him again. Okay, can I ask about anyone else? Yes. <laughs> the guy standing behind you. Yes, please. He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. 
the less one sees of him, the better. <laughs> yeah, he was um, almost uh, ready to behead me, I remember. Um, I think that's all the persons I can ask about. Yes. Yes, by, but I may have questions about something else. Which is? <laughs> He's um, very, very bored, I think. Um, yeah, tell me about the Camarilla. In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction, <laughs> the Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kindred society. Well, um, you certainly make a good sales pitch here. Which is? Um, tell me about the Sabbat. Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent Why? existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Are you telling me uh, when they create more vampires, they just bury them alive? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yes. Um... Okay, is that all I can ask? Which is? Um, yeah, tell me uh, something about the Ankaran sarcophagus again. All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and okay. it appears ancient. There could be nothing but dust inside. However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact. A mummy. All of these evidence of the supernatural, <laughs> and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. Anti Don't let anyone tell you differently. Okay, that's a lot of information you gave me here. First of all, the Ankara sarcophagus indeed comes from Turkey, so Ankara, I suppose. Secondly, there might be a mummy inside, which is very exciting. And finally, what are antediluvians? I mean, it means before the flood, right? So, um, vampires that lived before the flood? I mean, if they are descendants of Cain, they would have existed before the flood, if we're going by the biblical stories, right? So, I guess um, there's a connection here. Um, yeah, I think that's all I can ask, huh? Which is? Yeah, I'm not going to uh, take up any more of your valuable time. Um, let's go to the Dane. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Mm. You go. flatter me. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. You do realize that it's kind of hard to figure out what's inside if I'm not supposed to open it, but okay. Okay, so, um, we have our task set out for us. The prince wants you to investigate the Elizabeth Dane. You need to go to the beach in Santa Monica, where a boat will be waiting to take you out to the ship. You are to examine the Ankaran sarcophagus, find out what the police have discovered, and take the cargo manifest for the ship. And above all, try not to go on a killing spree. Right, I'm not supposed to kill anyone. Um, well, I need to go to Santa Monica, which means um, I have to take a cab and go back uh, to Santa Monica first. Caitiff. The Caitiff are the clannest vampires outcast by other kindred. I feel that at some point um, it would have been easier to read them because the loading screens would have been longer, but on a modern computer they vanish far too quickly to be of any help. Hop in. Um, let's go. Back to Santa Monica it is. So I kind of gave up on reading them since I never able to actually finish reading them. Lovely evening. Anyway. Okay, um, I need to go to the beach. I think I kind of remember how to get there.
or do I? <laughs> okay, here we go. Beach access. And here we go. Oh, um, this is new. Hey, hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve oh, my ass. Corio. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. You look a lot better. Yes, you look like you're feeling better. What are you doing out here, Mercurio? I might need some equipment for this little trip. Um, yeah, I guess I might. And apparently he's not going to spend the rest of the game on that couch. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. <laughs> Last time it's gonna happen. Right. Um, yeah, can you give me some equipment for this? Oh, okay. It's basically just ammo. Which I probably don't need at the moment. Anything I can do for you tonight? Um, can you give me some info? Concerning people, places, weapons. Um, the question is: Are these any different questions that I than I already asked? Who exactly? Yourself, Prince Lacroix, the Sabbath. I feel that I have asked all of these already. So maybe I will try this again later. But for now, um, I guess I will <laughs> go on my mission. Is that the boat, really? That little dinghy over here. All right. Uh, not sparing any expenses, Prince. Huh? Okay, here we go. Um, that's a ship, all right. Let's get on board. Ooh. Um. We apparently have some people here. Oh. Yo, lady, over here. <laughs> it's me. I'm Jacobson's guy. I have no idea what you're talking about, but you're not hostile or anything, oh, so Christ let's sakes. talk to him. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't <laughs> keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend <laughs> in. Um, I think you might confuse me for someone else, but... It looks like I can use this uh, to my advantage. He didn't tell me this was a formal affair. <laughs> Jacobson didn't tell me much. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, let's use my persuade. Jeez, what kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. <laughs> didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? Um, yes. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Let's just do this before one of us has to take a swim. Enough, we need to do this fast if we don't want to get caught. So we got an Intimidate and a Persuade. I mean, my Persuade is higher, but I believe as long as I get the option, it should actually work, right? But just to be safe, let's use Persuade again. All right, look, I got you a copy of the initial report and I can get you into the cabin. But you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, <laughs> brainchild. Okay, um, that works for me. Item gain police report. All right, um, so where exactly am I supposed to go? Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh, Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge, over. There, the security room will be clear. Okay, security room. Got it. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? 
Understood. Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. Hm? All one word. You getting all this? Okay, you're giving me a lot of useful information. Thank you. Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my <laughs> usual fee for this one. Yeah, you probably won't be paid. Okay, so... Supposed to take the stairs behind me. Then wait for him to. Heinz to Jacobson. Uh, Anderson. Heinz to okay. Anderson. Come in, Anderson. Yeah? Come check this out. I just saw a baleen whale. Nah. On my way. Alright. So he's moving away, and I can. And I suppose. I have to go where he was standing before. Let's do it. Gangway A. Yep, this is the right place. Okay, um, let's see. Got a door right here. Also, hang on a second. There's a lot of blood. And more police over there, so I guess, um... Shouldn't go in that direction right now. Um, right. Let's see. Records room. And some unspecified locked door over here. Okay. Um, I can just open this one. Um, but let's check out the records room. This one looks interesting. Difficulty 6. Um, well, will I be able to open it with a blood buff? I might not be able to open it with a blood buff, so let's increase it to at least 4. I mean, some dexterity can't hurt, right? Also increases my sneaking, which might be useful on this mission, so let's take this and let's give this another try. Okay, there we go. Also, <laughs> if you're using the first person perspective, you can actually see the movement of the ship. That's interesting. Um, can you please open up? All right, what do we got here? Ship manifest. Okay, that's one of the things I was supposed to get, right? Anything else of interest? Nothing here. over here but um, I believe we can also go up here let's let's try to check out all the places first that aren't heavily guarded okay, this door is a fake oh we got a computer over here Might be useful. Report lock control. Okay, let's see. Home lock control. Um, lock? Password required. Okay, he told us that it's lighthouse. Oh, but it's not correct. Did I misspell it? Lighthouse. No, this is not the right password. So let's try hacking it. Six. So Prodian wouldn't suffice. I would have to increase my hacking skill first. Um, 
I don't know, what do the other menus do? Like control. Uh, okay, let's try lighthouse again. Okay, lighthouse is the password for this menu. Start engines, sound horn, deck cams on, unlock records. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I don't want to start the engine or sound the horn. That will only uh, make people suspicious. Um, so what happens if I unlock records? Oh, <laughs> well, I already did that. I just lockpicked it. I guess that would not have been necessary. Deck cams on. Um, sure, let's see what that does. Oh, okay, the, the other monitor just went on. Um, I'll have a look at this again later. Let's see what exactly we can see here. Oh! Is this... Is this what we're looking for? Is this supposed to be the sarcophagus? Huh. Okay, but the question is, how do I get there, now that I know where it is? Yeah, you have successfully completed the task about the Elizabeth Dane. Report back to the prince. So I don't actually have to... I don't actually have to find it. Alright. That was easier than I thought. But, um, what are we going to do about this here? Okay, weather... Not really useful. Status. Ship status engines off, deck cams on, records unlocked. Okay. Yeah, um, but I mean it looks like that's really all I needed to do here and now I just have to get out of here. I mean, let's have a quick look around to see if I can find anything else, but apparently I finished my task. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything of interest in this room. Okay, and this is just to the other side. Um, but since I already saw the sarcophagus on, on the camera, I don't actually have to find it. I just have to get out of here again. Oh, but... <laughs> Of course, now that guy is standing there again, so I can't go uh, the same way that I came. Um, right, what, what other options do we have? I haven't really checked out this corridor yet, have I? Alright, nothing here. And uh, more blood. Whatever happened here, it was pretty gruesome. Okay. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, okay. Um, this is back where we started. Okay, I hope I can just sneak past this guy now. Looking good. And I suppose he doesn't care. <laughs> so... I'll just head back, right? I mean... Yeah, the quest says I, I have completed my task. I can just go back. Okay. Let's do it. Um... How do I climb down this ladder? Oh, well, I can just jump. That works as well. <laughs> okay, I would say that was um, a pretty successful mission. Didn't kill anyone. 
I stayed undetected. Evening. Okay. He doesn't have any new dialogue. What about the uh, weird lady? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. No, 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 no. I think what you're saying is pretty interesting. Wait, do you know anything about the murder on the pier? I have a few more questions about my future. Have I already asked the question about the murder? Murder. Yes, the killer is dead. He moves soon and travels to the heart of the Angeles, to the home of the stars, and then returns fulfilled and empty hmm. once again. Okay, um, the killer is dead. But I mean, a vampire technically would also be dead, so <laughs> I guess undead would also count, right? Um, can you be more specific? That explains so much. Do you write for the IRS? <laughs> yeah, can you be more specific? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. I think you should trust your instincts. Can you tell me more about my future? Then ask again. Okay, apparently not. All right, well, um... Hi. That's interesting. How did it go with E? Remember what you did? Give me some money and I won't tell E. Good to see you, okay? Goodbye, Lily. Yeah, how are you two doing? This life's been hard on him. Both of us. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there. As long as we're together. Yeah, I think I already asked that. Um, <laughs> so, I'll be off. Okay. Let's just um, return to the prince. And tell him we successfully finished his task. I may want to look for some people I can drink. <laughs> Although it's not a priority. I can just, you know... Go to the hotel and drink the receptionist or whatever. Um, I need to go to the second street and take the cab, I suppose. Let's see, do we have anyone standing alone in a dark alley? Not really going somewhere um yep away from here back to downtown it is all right here we are again hey oh I, I know this might seem creepy and all but please don't blow me off okay <sighs> someone told me i could find you here i mean i've been looking all over for you since that night because I just wanted okay. to... Okay. I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life and... Oh, I it's... I feel like I need to repay you. It's a girl uh, that I saved in I the hospital. I forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Um, as a matter of fact, you kinda are. <laughs> That's hard to do these nights. You look much better, I'm glad. No, I knew you would return. You may be useful to me. <laughs> Heather, you shouldn't be here. Turn around, go back home. You cannot get involved with me. Yeah, I would prefer if you wouldn't follow me around, but I guess I'm glad you're doing better. Only because of you, what you did for me. Here, I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just <laughs> tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> um, oh, she just gave me a silver ring. Okay, well, thank you, I guess. Of course, Heather, I would love for you to stay with me. Nope, nope, nope. I'm I'm a lone wolf. I, I only work alone. I don't do roommates or whatever. <laughs> if you want to feel like that, then you're going to have to earn it. Oh man, did I make a mistake, Heather. I only did that to save your life. No, if you stay with me, you'll get hurt. Get out of here now. I mean, that's a good point as well, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I too have a problem now with an overly attached ghoul who doesn't want to leave me. Um, 
Yeah, I really only wanted to save your life. I, I didn't even know it would turn you into a ghoul, so... It was a mistake. I mean, I'm glad it saved your life, but... I, I don't really need your services or whatever. What do you mean? You're like... You're like... The effect you had on me made me want to live. It's all because of you. You saved my life. Please, let me be of use to you. I'll do whatever. I don't care. <sighs> She's really persistent. If you if you must, fine. No care, so I can think of something. Yeah, okay. No, get out of here. Go, don't ever talk to me again. You have any sense? Maybe if I smack you around a little, you'll learn. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess maybe she might be useful, but again, I think Ori doesn't really want her around. She values her privacy. <laughs> and she prefers to be on her own, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I will try to send her away again. But I... Uh, I've never felt this way about somebody mm. before. I think I... When I'm around you, it's... I love you. Mm. Can't you please let me be a part of your life? I'm afraid your feelings aren't really real. They're just because uh, you drank my blood and... I'm guessing that after a while the effect will also wear off. So uh, this isn't this isn't really love. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's see. Can I can I somehow convince her to leave? I don't have the heart to say no. Very well, no. Forget you ever met me. Have a good life. Farewell. <laughs> Unless you want to wind up dead, never let me see you again. Um, yeah, let's let's try again to send her away. I don't know, maybe there is some usefulness in keeping her around, but again, I feel Ori doesn't want to have, like, any company, so she would definitely send her away. Okay, apparently it finally worked, and she's walking away, and hopefully after a while the blood effect will wear off and she will just forget about me. <laughs> That's what I hope anyway. Um, but yeah, okay, let's uh, continue. I don't think I need to talk to Chunky again. Oh, well, maybe I actually do have to talk to him in order to actually get the elevator. Evening, Missy. Let's you back it. to see Mr. LaCroix again? Yeah, he right. told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... <laughs> ah, that's his business. Whatever you think it is, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> so, how it's going, Chunk? I know, Chunk? I'm keeping the undesirables out and the innocent safe and secure. I'm the thin blue line that separates the crazies from the hard-working decent <laughs> Yep, as long as I'm around, Mr. LaCroix's got nothing to worry about. Oh, if you only knew. I'm sure he appreciates that you're here to protect him. Right. Your self-delusion is spectacular. <laughs> it is, but come on, I can't help but um, feel some sympathy for this guy, so let's not be an ass. Alright, just call the elevator so I can go up. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I have to talk to Shank first in order to <laughs> get the elevator. Ooh. I've said all I need to for now. Look, it's Max. <laughs> we know him. Um, not sure about the rest of them. Are they like leaders of the other clans? Let's see. I don't have time for a monologue. <laughs> Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Right. Every crewman on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Well, I didn't go very close, to be honest. There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate it was opened from within. I'm actually amazed that she was able to see that uh, via the surveillance camera because I couldn't make that out. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. <laughs> Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in, 
The parade of malingering mollycoddles <laughs> filing out. Malingering mollycoddles? <laughs> what is that? But yeah, he seemed a little bit rattled when I told him that the sarcophagus had been opened. Anyway, tell me about the uh, malingering mollycoddles. Those were the primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his <laughs> phone or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Maybe he just doesn't want to talk to you. Have you ever considered that? <laughs> what a waste of time. House call to got him shut in. I want action. This is ghoul work. I, I don't like all this anti-ghoul rhetoric. Although I'm starting to understand it because my ghoul is a little bit annoying. So I guess that's why all the vampires um, kind of look down on them a little bit. Um, so, I mean, this doesn't really sound all that difficult. Is that all? Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Hm. Stay that course. I'm not sure if I should feel flattered about that. Um, yeah, tell me more about this Groot person. Yes, uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. So the His crazy behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. <laughs> He's developed a paranoid bent lately. So you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. All right. Um, I may have a few questions first. I suppose I can spare a few <laughs> seconds. Oh, please, don't strain your attention too much for lowly little me. <laughs> okay, these are just the same questions that I had before. So um, I guess I'll do this later. All right, um, looks like we finished our task. Uh, let's talk to him again. Always talk to everyone the twice. The primogen hate to be kept waiting. And they let me know that frequently. Right. Um, I have something to take care of. I'll go when I can. Yes. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me... I have secured you a haven nearby, Ooh. in the Skyline apartment building. Ooh. I hope it's to your liking. Oh, I'm moving up in the world. I'm getting a better apartment than the crappy one back in Santa Monica. So I guess I might be able to check my mails um, there as well, and I don't need to travel back to Santa Monica all the time. That's actually pretty useful. Also, you have quite the view here. That's actually sort of impressive. Anyway, um, I guess uh, the episode is getting uh, long enough, so let's make a cut here. Um, I guess I will check out my new apartment in the next episode, and then I will decide uh, what to do next. But for now, let's call it a day as always. Thank you for watching, and see you again next time.